Hi, welcome back. Today, I wanna to talk about how to make a mountain. First off, you wanna grab some mountain mix and you wanna grab your palette knife. I'm gonna take my mountain mix, I'm gonna spread it out very flat. I'm gonna put my palette knife completely against my palette and I'm gonna scrape forward. And I'm gonna get this nice roll of paint on the end of my knife. When you're making a mountain, the first thing is you don't want to make pyramids. It's the biggest mistake that I see people make is when they make their mountains, they wind up looking like this. And they look like lots of little pyramids in the background. That we don't want to do. We want to avoid that. Okay. When you have the shape of the mountain that you would like, the next thing we're going to do is you want to scrape off any excess paint. Take your knife and you can hear it, how hard I'm scraping this, but don't mess with this top line. You don't want to mess up the outline of your mountain. See how much paint came off of that? I'm going to scrape all of that extra paint off. The next part of making a mountain, to me, is one of the most important parts of making a mountain. Not only does this remove any excess paint off of your canvas, but it helps shape your mountain, which is the most important step in my opinion. You wanna take your brush, you wanna squiggle it up to almost the line to the edge, and you wanna pull it down. And as I do that, you can see that I'm shaping my mountain. I'm showing what direction my mountain is, is going in. If I could talk today. I'm gonna, again, put my brush all the way up to the line and I'm gonna pull it down. And you can see how that made another slope. I want my slope to come down to the right here. Maybe I want my slope to come down to the left here. But as you can see this ridge that is being created and it's showing you how my mountain is flowing. Maybe this part of the mountain back here comes straight down. Maybe this comes straight down back here. Then maybe the rest of my mountain flows off to the left. Maybe there's a little ridge here that comes down. But as I Pull the paint, you can see how I'm defining the shape of my mountain. Once you have laid out the way that you want your mountain, you want to go ahead and mix a shadow color and a highlight color. I have taken titanium white and I've added maybe a flea amount of crimson just to dull it down and I've taken my mountain mix and added a flea amount of it to my titanium white to make my shadow color. So crimson and titanium white and mountain mix and titanium white and I've made a highlight and I've made a shadow color to my mountain. Now, if my sun is coming from this direction, then that means that my highlights are my lighter colors need to all be coming from the left side of my painting and my shadows would then be coming from the right side of my painting. And because I typically, when I work on my mountains, I work from right to left. You don't have to, but this is usually the way that I do it. You wanna take your palette knife, put it against your palette, scrape down, and get that nice little roll of paint. Okay. 
and you want to come up to your mountain and there's several different ways to apply the snow but the most important way to put snow on your mountain is by what we did and that's laying this part out because applying the snow can be done a few different ways and I'll show you. You can take your palette knife and you can hold it very, very, very loosely, very loosely. And you can put it to the top of your mountain. You can feel the paint stick. I give it just a little wiggle, just a little wiggle, just to kind of get it to melt. And then I pull down to one side and as you can see, the paint breaks. It gives these nice little breaking effect. That is one way that you can apply your snow. I, however, most of the time, after I load my knife, when I do my snow, I do it a little, a little different. I come up and I do a series of small strokes. And it kind of has the same effect. It's just a little more broken up than it being one long stroke. Mine tend to kind of break up a little bit more because I like seeing more of the dark showing through underneath. Again, I'm following this ridge line that I've already set out for myself. I already plotted out where I want my ridge line to be when I did my brush strokes. So you, as long as you're following the guideline that you've already created, you know where you want to put your snow. And we want to come to the opposite side. And now we want, because our light is hitting from that side, we're going to come down and we're going to add our snow coming down from that angle. And another trick is you want to kind of push underneath the existing color and come down. And that's going to help define that ridge. Come up to the other paint and pull it down very softly. It's going to give you a beautiful, beautiful ridge. You can go back through with your shadow and easily put them together. I'm going to use the corner of my knife. Back here, my snow is going to come straight down. I want my snow to come straight down back here. All I'm doing is following the guidelines that I set out for myself at the very beginning with my brush. Now let's talk about what we don't want to do on mountains. We don't want to have our snow come straight down. I see that way too often. People just pull the snow and they just pull it straight down. And maybe they make it match on this side and they pull it just straight down. And your mountain just has this awful center line that you see in the middle. The snow should always come off to the side, to the side. See how that creates this um, creates that that ridge line by pulling your snow in the right direction. 
you pull it straight down, it's not going to look right. And let me show you something else. Say, for instance, you did this mountain and you absolutely hated it. You hated the way that it looked. It's not what you wanted. Or maybe you're just practicing. Maybe you're just practicing mountains. It is so easy to just scrape it off. If you don't like your mountain, scrape it off. Scrape it off. Take the paint off. Just like that. Scrape it off. Grab your mountain mix. Lay your mountain mix back on there. Make it nice and dark again. Okay, let's build another mountain. Our shadows on this mountain are on the right. So let's start on the right with our shadow. Add highlight to the other side. Remember to wipe off your blade each time you come away from your canvas. You want to take a clean one inch brush and you want to mist the bottom by lightly tapping it. You want to tap in the same direction that your mountain flows.
Then you want to very lightly, very lightly blend up your mountain. Same direction. And then blend it out. So that it blends into almost nothing. There you go. And there's a nice easy way to make a beautiful mountain.